question I often get asked is uh, in regards to how to make your tangent lines. So here I have a couple of surfaces and I need to make uh, some tangent lines on either one of these surfaces, but those tangent lines need to have a relationship with one another as well as uh, having a, a transition that gets smaller to larger. So a tool that I like to use and it's something that I need to talk about far more often is what's called section surface. Section surface has several options in how you can create uh, various shaped surfaces. One of them is a conic surface. This is if you want a true conic surface there's various ways. You have circular surfaces, cubic, and linear. Uh, cubic here is an extremely powerful method of creating surfaces. Now you'll also notice that when I click on the type of surface that I want to create, I have various modes under each one of them. So in this case, I want to create a center radius type surface. So what this allows me to do here is specify my guide string, which is that theoretical, and then specify how I want to define my circle with a spine by a vector or by a curve. Um, in this case, I'm just going to say by a vector, and then I can specify the vector that I want. Pick my vector direction, and then now I'm going to specify um, the type of radius that I want. You'll notice that I have linear, cubic, and so on. So if I come down to cubic, for instance, I can enter a start and an end of various sizes. So this allows me to quickly and easily create a surface that I can now intersect these two with that are that everything is controlled by one basic shape. Now, body type, I'm just going to say sheet because I just want a surface. And then if I wanted to, I can say linear. And you can see I have a shape change from linear to cubic. The other thing that I can do is I can go by curve, and I'm going to use that theoretical and reverse that. If I, if I need to, I can just double click on that arrow. And you'll see that no, once I go to the actual curve, I have options here that I didn't have before. I have linear along spine, and I have cubic along spine. Um, <clears throat> and what this allows me to do is I'm going to pick cubic along spine. And here you'll notice that I have a location definition. I can specify the location at this point, specify my radius, specify a location somewhere in the middle of the curve, just say point on curve, and you'll notice that I'm able to shift this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the shape, and as I shift this point, you'll notice the shape change. So I have total control over how I want that transition to look. And I can come over here, pick another point, and at every point I can enter in a value, and then I'll come back to my endpoint here, and go up to 15. I'll leave it at the end, select OK. Now that I have my surface created, and again, this is just as an example, and there may be a need for you to create something this far-fetched, but uh, this is just an example of how I would control having the same shape from one to the other using a conic surface. So at this point, I'm going to go into Curve, and under Curve, I have Intersect Curve. So I want to intersect this and this, with this and select OK. Now I can hide this and these are my curves. So I'm not going to use this side. I'm just going to use, just going to hide this just because I can. And what that leaves me with are my curves here. Now one thing that you'll notice is on this, you'll see that this surface didn't run all the way through because of the spine shape. It stops a little short here and here. It stops a little short at this end. So I'm going to go back into my 
part navigator, I'm going to go to my section surface, I'm going to right mouse click, and I'm simply going to go in and say make current feature. And now that I've done that, I can go into surface, and here I want to extend this sheet. I want to extend this end, and how far do I want to go? I want to make sure that it goes all the way through. For my settings, I'm going to leave it at natural curvature. So I have various on natural tangent and mirrored, so I'm just going to say natural curvature is fine. Um, so if you want to, you can, again, you can modify those settings. Pretty straightforward. Um, mirrored is fine. And um, I can, uh, as far as body output, I can specify as a separate or uh, copy original body so it doesn't affect this body. And I want what I want to do is I want to extend original sheet so I don't get a seam in the middle of that. Hit my apply. I do the same thing at this end. And okay, I'm going to hide this guy. And I'm just going to go into my part navigator, go into my extension, and make current feature. And you'll see now, by doing that, it runs all the way to those ends. So here, I can create my studio surface. Here's my primary one. And let's see here. I'm going to say single curve. I want to go with this. My primary two. And impose my curvature here to here. And select OK. Now, if I go back into my part navigator, there is my conic surface with all of my radius points and locations. So if I look at this, you can see my location values and you can see my, my actual radius values. Let me go ahead and pin this open. So if I come in here now and I want to make a quick modification, I can give these names. I can change that so everybody knows what those positions are. Maybe I need to change a location. So if I come to this location and say I want to set 55, you'll see that now this is moved along that curve. Or maybe I want to set 35. So you'll see that I can modify this quick and easy to get the shapes that I need. And again, I can adjust the value here. Okay, maybe 5 is a little small. Maybe I want this to go up to 10. Or maybe I want this to go down to 15. And I want at a specific location of value. Because the uh, analysis people came back and said, well, I need to in increase the size of this or decrease the size of that. Or I want to change the transition because of a stress-related issue. And I've seen that happen before in the past. Or a formability issue. So this is a really quick, simple way of controlling that size and location and how these things transition.